This week on TGC News, the FN 509 gets an upgrade, the Army's new 320 is for sale, and a new side folding brace comes to market. Tactical Baby Gear offers some of the coolest diaper bags, baby carriers, and day packs for the mom and dad that love freedom. Whether it's the Deuce 2.0 diaper bag combo with the bottle and dump pouches, the Day Pack 3.0, or maybe just the Tactical Teddy, you are bound to find something that works for you and your tactical baby. Also available are the new bulletproof panels that are level 3A Kevlar soft panels that fit inside either the backpack or diaper bag. To get squared away and get 10% off your order, use the code TGC10 at tacticalbabygear.com. Welcome back to another episode of TGC News, the only gun news show that covers things you actually care about. My name is John Patton. Let's jump right in. So get down to see, jump around, jump around. First up this week is a new pistol from FN. Say hello to the FN 509 Tactical. Hello there. Now, the regular 509 has been out for a while and has a decent reputation for being a solid gun overall. This new one turns it up a little bit in both features and price. Let's run through those features. It's a 9mm striker fired gun with a 4.5 inch half by 28 threaded barrel. It comes with one 17 round and two 24 round magazines, as well as suppressor height night sights. Oh, and it's tan! <laughs> Almost everything else is the same as the regular 509, with the exception, that is, of the really smartly designed mounting system for slide-mounted red dot optics. First of all, it's designed so that the factory suppressor sights co-witness with your optic, and it also comes with this really interesting cap for when you don't have an optic mounted that has these sort of wings to protect the rear sight in the middle. Interesting. It's a fairly simple execution on the tactical namesake. Now, the pricing is where I scoffed when I first saw it. $1,049 MSRP. I thought, why would anyone pay over a grand for a gun like this? Then I thought, wait, wait a second. Uh, it's got a red dot mounting system that allows you to run almost any of the popular optics out there from the factory. Usually if you get it milled aftermarket, you're stuck with one type of optic and that's it. It comes with those high night sights, a threaded barrel, and it comes with multiple extended magazines in the box. That's certainly more value than the $400 difference in pricing from the regular FN 509. The slide milling alone would likely cost several hundred dollars from a reputable company, and then you add all the other stuff in and it starts to make some more sense. What do you guys think? Are you considering picking up a 509 or is that feature set not enough to justify that price tag? Sound off in the comments and let me know your thoughts. Sig Sauer has announced that they will be bringing the Army's modular handgun system gun to the commercial market. For those not following, Sig won the contract for the MHS with the P320 M17 variant back in the beginning of 2017, and you will finally be able to buy one for yourself. So what makes the M17 different than other 320s? Well, honestly, not much. It's a striker-fired 9mm that is Coyote Tan PVD coated. Is it like against the rules right now to have a tactical pistol that's not tan? Does that break tact code? <laughs> anyway, it comes with a regular set of night sights with the rear night sight actually attached to the optics attachment plate. So no co-witnessing here. It also has a manual safety. They'll be shipping non-safety equipped models at a later date. So all in all, it's a tan 320 with an optic mounting area. The MSRP on the M17 is $768, and that means it will be the cheapest factory 320 with an optic mounting option. To me, this is a collector gun, but it's not all about me. How many of you guys out there are going to pick one of these up? Technically, this could someday be some sort of Millsurp slash collector gun thing, right? And rounding us out this week are a couple of quick ones. The makers of everything Pistol Brace have brought another new one to the market. SB Tactical just announced the FS1913. It's a pretty straightforward product. 
It is a side folding brace that attaches to any gun using a 1913 Picatinny rail, such as you might find on the back of a SIG MPX pistol. It also folds around to the left side of the gun instead of the right so that you can actually operate the gun while it's folded. For some reason, there's a part of me that wants to attach a bunch of these to the top rail and like fold them down so it looks like a gun spider. <laughs> don't, don't judge me. <laughs> Spiders! A giant legion of spiders! MSRP on the new one is 250 bucks. Also, we've been trying out the 224 Valkyrie round lately with a couple of different uppers, videos coming on them later, and the primary ammo that we've been using is the 90 grain Sierra Match King loaded by Federal. This is supposed to be the ammo that was able to go supersonic to 1300 yards. However, we have just not been able to get it to group well out of either barrel that we have on hand. I suspect that's because no one stopped at launch and said, wait, these should not have a one in seven twist. In fact, they should have at least a one in six and a half twist barrel in it. But beyond that misstep, Federal just put out a letter stating that they have found some of the 90 grain SMK loads were not performing to the level they expect. They, of course, recommend using their three other offerings, 60 grain Nosler, 75 grain TMJ, and 90 grain soft point instead. The fact of the matter is that if you want to shoot extended ranges with a Valkyrie, do not bother with the current 90 grain SMK offering. We are working on gathering more data of our own and testing more and different types of ammo, so stay tuned for those videos in the near future. Neomag offers a slick solution to discreetly carrying a spare magazine securely in your pocket. Available in small, medium, and large to hold anything from 380 to 10 mil. Also now available are the extended clip versions, which allow you to carry deeper in your pocket or carry your spare mag with an extension. Utilizing strong neodymium magnets, a steel backer, and titanium clips, these things are built to last. To get 10% off your order over at theneomag.com, use the code TGC2018. And it's time for more Friendly Fire, the segment where I answer your questions from all over social media. This week, our questions are coming from the TGC Facebook page. Adam Wagner wants to know if reloading ammo is actually cheaper. Yes and no. It can be cheaper if that is your ultimate goal. If you're going there, you can make it there. I know a ton of guys that shoot competition that reload thousands of rounds for way less than retail. But there is a decent initial investment that you have to make in both presses, parts, components, etc., and you have to consider your time investment. Alternatively, reloading is a great way to tune your ammo to your gun and really get the most out of your setup. Mitchell Griffin says, what can we do to increase positive gun awareness in youth? Well, the number one thing that would do that is putting gun education back in schools. Right now, they are being taught to hate guns and get offended by anything you don't agree with outside of your safe space. But we could also try to take kids to the range as much as possible and show them how fun it really can be to shoot safely. Jacob Robinson says, do you see any value in the detachable magazine Mossberg and Remington shotguns? Yes, I actually do. So let's say you have a pump action shotgun with a five round mag and you shot all those rounds out. It would genuinely take you a few seconds to load all five rounds back in there, right? Well, what if you could just click a new fully loaded mag into the gun? That is where the value really is in my opinion. My friendly fire question to you guys this week, how many of you own a shotgun? If you do, what do you use it for and what kind is it? I'm gauging the responses on this one. Get it? <laughs> so corny. And hey, if you want your question answered right here on TGC News, send it to me over on theguncollective.com. And that is it for this week's show. Guys, you know what to do. If you didn't like it, hit that button. If you liked it, hit like. Get subscribed and consider supporting us via the links in the video description below. We have an Amazon affiliate store as well as a link to purchase cool shirts just like this one. And of course, links to find us all over your favorite social media platforms. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Salutes from all over the place. Salute. 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 Bye. The shirts worn in today's video on the Gun Collective have been provided by Patriot Patch. Closed captions have also been brought to you by Patriot Patch Company. 
be sure to click the link in the video description to check out all of their great products, including their cleaning mats.